One horse rescue group is asking people to boycott the event. They say horse mistreatment is the rule, not the exception. And to make a point, they are showing a horse they say has a history of abuse. Channel 4's Nancy Amons has the story new at 10. This is Jen's ice glimmer, seen in a video when he was offered for sale July 19th. He's a registered Tennessee walking horse. Glimmer's career as a show horse lasted nearly a decade. But last month, his life might have ended in a slaughterhouse. Tony Priestner of the horse rescue group Horse Plus saw Glimmer offered for sale at an auction in Kentucky in July. When these horses are scarred to the point that they can't use them anymore, They'll do whatever means possible to get rid of them. Animal cruelty is not worth it. Clint C. put up half the money to rescue Glimmer. He shows us the five-inch stacks loaded with lead on Glimmer's front feet. Anyway, you can hear it when I hit. That's not illegal, but the scars, that's another matter. But this is all damage. This is permanent damage. This isn't an exception. This is the rule. This is what they do. He brought in a vet with 21 years' experience inspecting horses for the USDA. <laughs> Dr. Tom James's job was to disqualify horses if they were sore or scarred. Some trainers use caustic chemicals or heavy chains to try to exaggerate the horse's gait. What I'm seeing is a horse that, that's scarred, and it's visible right here. A little ridge, thick and hard tissue, scar tissue, no hair on it. There it is. USDA records show that Glimmer was rejected from a Murfreesboro competition in 2013 for soaring. His trainer and owner were written tickets. This isn't a horse that's a rare thing that happens in this industry. This is a horse, like all the other horses out there, happens all the time. The CEO of the Walking Horse Celebration in Shelbyville says otherwise. Mike Inman says he hasn't seen Glimmer, but says soared horses are not typical at all, and says Glimmer would not have passed inspection. Glimmer's rescuers think that's exactly why he was on the auction block. That's not okay. An animal should never have to suffer to have a ribbon. I contacted Tim Brown. He's the man who offered Glimmer for sale in that Craigslist ad before the horse ended up at an auction. He said he had no comment. Now, where Glimmer will live next hasn't been decided yet. The first plans are to remove those five-inch stacks, which the seller said he'd worn almost all of his life. Demetria. Nancy, thank you.